and there are people like that. Like Joseph Suleiman, people like Hubert Angel in those days encouraged us as we were coming up to press into God and to seek the face of God. In what seemed to be a once friendly relationship between two apostles with utter respect from both sides came scandals, controversies, and doctrines that ultimately caused the separation of two acclaimed apostles. So the relationship between Aramosai and Suleiman was seemingly not known in the broader space of light because Aramosai was not known or had not yet gained popularity until 2021 when this video surfaced. When you see where men live and where men are domiciled, where they operate from, and yet do the kind of things they do, it just gives you a level of gratitude to God, very gratifying. Glory be to God. Apostle Osai, God bless you. Thank you very much for being here. Amen. Our deep dive into their relationship revealed how the sons of Arumi, including Joel and Michael Oko Reverend Suleiman, proving they all loved and looked up to Johnson Suleiman during the early 2015-16 period, to the extent of visiting Suleiman in a now deleted picture. But down the line came a series of controversies with Suleiman being involved in scandals, which got out of hand with different ladies coming out with evidence accusing Suleiman of sleeping with them. Hey, so of course, people were like, ah, why would a man of God, an anointed man of God, use policemen to harass a lady and put her in prison without fire, only for the lady in prison or to tell the whole world that she had an affair with uh, the man of God for the whole year. We were like, no way, no way, the devil is a liar. <laughs> Once again, everything is allegedly, allegedly. So don't let anybody quote me. She said that Suleiman was giving her thousands of dollars and taking her around the world and that they were doing it together. This man licks me from head to toe. He said I make him speak in tongues. Now this accusation... Oh. In, we live in a world where people play games everywhere. People play gimmicks. It's the gimmick you should be against. This was then followed with a back and forth series involving Ibert, who, being part of the scam, claimed Apostle Ramosai does not deserve to be called an apostle. I thank God for these apostles. I'm sorry to call them apostles, but I have to. Just because of the decorum in the Christian world. You have to call people who are not apostles, apostles. That is a problem with miracle money. And any here would have been good, but we had Suleiman come out with a blow, calling our Mosai a preacher who became known because of COVID, aka a COVID preacher. Which our Mosai did not hesitate to respond in a long line of notes. The church is now full of busybodies. It wasn't so 10 years ago. Take your eyes from anybody's salvation. How anybody, I'm telling you the truth. You really see young men raised up these days. And when I say young men, I don't mean social media young men of God. There are COVID men of God. COVID. They became popular through COVID. Everybody was at home. That's how they became popular. We call them COVID preachers. <laughs> and the impression he gives is that Apostle Aramu Osai is a COVID preacher. Now, in conclusion, there does not seem to be any relationship in motion now since Joe and the others have stopped talking about Suleiman due to his insults associating with men like Hubert Angel, Clash and Java, and more others who are widely known to have fake miracles down to his reoccurring scandals, which Aramosai does not want to associate himself with. Bringing us to the end of a relationship between two apostles, a question of association, scandals, fake miracles, and integrity. Shalom, child of God. Welcome back, my people. New subscribers, thank you so much for joining me. Returning once, I appreciate your support. Thank you so much, I'm grateful. Please, my people, I need your assistance. I need your help. Pastor John Anno seek a vow to chase me out of YouTube. He has terminated my four YouTube channels with first copyright strike. Please, this particular one now, you are still looking for a way to terminate it as well. Please help me, support me by subscribing to my channel. Put down your comment on the comment section. Like the video so that it can go viral. Please help me, okay? Thank you. Now let's go into this this message, this topic now. If you have not watched the part one of this, kindly check the episode one. This is episode two. And this is episode two, I want to look at why Prophet Obad Angel, Prophet Jello Gobe, Apostle John Sisulaman, and Apostle Aromasai. Why did they separate? 
We are they friends before? You guys, you guys have watched the video. You have seen it that they were actually friends. But something happened along the line. It's now obvious that Apostle Aroma Sai, who happened to be currently happened to be the spiritual son, spiritual father rather, to Apostle to Prophet but Angel to Prophet Ogebe, was once a friend to Apostle Justin Suleiman. But do what? Something happened around the line. So it's not obvious that he left because of the scandals, numerous scandals. Okay, and others. Child and the miracle money of a thing. I think he has left before the miracle money. Child of God, this is my own opinion and my candy, candy advice. Okay. Bible says in book of first Corinthians chapter eleven, verse one. He said, Follow me as I follow Christ. This is Apostle Paul saying. Apostle Paul says, He said, Follow me as I follow Christ. Meaning, if I stop following Christ, please stop following me. Okay? Now, when a man of God stops following Christ, or you are following somebody, and you now find out that this person is not following Christ, will you still remain there? Of course, no, you won't still remain there. In the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 8, when Paul, when Peter went to, went to lose people from the bondage of Simon the Sorcerer, those people did not remain there. They left. Just start from verse 9 down to 25. Their eyes were open and they realized that Simon the sorcerer was not a genuine man of God. They left. Will you blame those people that time? Of course, no. Because they, they were in his bondage out of ignorance. So, a genuine man of God can mingle with a, a false prophet without knowing that immediately he realized that this man is not genuine. What he's supposed to do is to do what is to run. You must not mingle with somebody that is not mingling with Christ. You must not mingle with somebody that is not working with Christ. You must not mingle with, Christ, with somebody that is not going where you are going to. As a man of God, or as a or as a member, or as a Christian. Okay? Now, some people, some bloggers carry this video and say that uh, Prophet Robert Angel fed the uh, Prophet Joel Ogebe before. And they look at how they are paying them back, how he fed them, he fed the aroma. He may feed them. That is none of my business. I'm not here to tell you that he did not feed them. This video is not about he feed them or what he did for them. But it's all about why did they leave? Why did they run away? Why this bus goes on social media? Why this scatter scatter right now? This one hit this one. This right now they have even created mighty enmity. Very big enmity. That this one has group. Bloggers, if it has group that are supporting this one. Blogger, another group supporting the other group. The one that are supporting uh, Robert Angel or whatever and uh, Suleiman, they have money. If you start supporting them, they will pay you dearly. Their members, they have crowd, they have money, they have everything. So you make more money as a blogger. That is why many bloggers choose that path. And they're making it. Go to videos or whatever. Anywhere they talk about them. The way they praise them. Go there and see view. Those views is money. Go come to this our own. This is my small small own. Our group. That does not support evil. Neither do we support uh, Aroma. Or uh, or about Angel and uh, Suleiman. We don't support any. We only stand on the truth. Come to our own. You will not see anybody. You share. You will not share. Like. Nobody will like. Comment, no. Help me to get up to 1,002, no. So you see the problem. And that is why many bloggers choose to support them. In fact, themselves, they, they are calling to the, the agent, they are whatever. They allegedly used to pay them heavily, those, those uh, bloggers, they paid them. Those pastors give them money to cover them on social media. So it's well. Now, this is my own, my own kind of advice to Aroma. This is my personal advice to Aroma. I remember my brother, you cannot fight someone that is bigger than you financially, he's, he's bigger than you financially and otherwise. He has been in the journey for years. He's a jungle, he's the lion of the jungle. Age is not your myth. I'm telling you guys, please help me to share this video. Let it get to Aroma. 
This is my advice to you as a brother. This is my advice to you as a as a father. This is my advice, uh, not as a father, rather, sorry. <laughs> this is my advice to you as anything I can call. Okay? Sir, this is my advice. From This advice is from my heart. And it's from a place of love. Please, stop fighting these people. Don't buy the hand that fed you. You don't do that. If you have ever benefited from Suleiman before, don't fight him. Don't fight to bat NJ because of your son, Mike. I know you are trying to collect what belongs to you, which is Mike. Yes, but not in that way. Because you are creating, you guys are now creating heavy enmities among Christians. People, you're supposed to save their souls. You are now planting enmity and how to fight battle among them. Unnecessary battle. So please, sir, you have every right to stop this. Aroma, to stop this lies in your hands. How do I stop it? By making peace with Mike. Mike, Arum, Ar Ar Mike, Arubo, make some comments when he was try when he was telling people why he left you and how he left and whatever. He said that he has been begging you to forgive him, Aroma. You refuse. You have been begging. He has been begging to for, for you to forgive him. You refuse. I have asked this question twice with that number. What is it that Ar Ar Mike did that cannot be forgiven? What is the offense of Mike or Robert that cannot be forgiven? Sir, when you look at a man that is behaving like this, that find it difficult to forgive, find it difficult to give out, find it difficult to for, doesn't to leave, you you just, first of all, all that lies, all this drama, battle, this and that, check his foundation. That person must come from a family or with polygamous home. Yes. Polygamous family, that is why I condemn that in the court polygamous home because it brings up children that find it difficult to forgive. Polygamous home bring up children that, that everything is saga, they like drama, they like battle, this and that. I'm telling you. So, uh, if he creates a Roma now, he may have such family upbringing. We are the mother of this one with the, uh, this mother. When you marry this woman, he drunk that the father will not love be loved. The other one, more than the other one. The other one, the first one will be fighting my right. It's my right. The children will be fighting. Oh, you see, that is the reason, this kind of, this kind of reason, this kind of thing used to come up in the life of the children that were brought up in, the, in such family. I remember my brother. It takes you nothing to forgive, to put an end to this saga. Myself, that is even creating content. Look at, now bloggers are using it to, to make money. I create content at times, but it's not healthy for me. I'm telling you. Although I create content about false prophet, it's okay. But this your saga is not healthy for me because I know that you have everything. You have what it takes to stop it. He has what it takes to stop it. Why do they say you should not buy the hand that fed you? You can say no to association that is not godly. You can say no. You will not mingle again with them. Bible says come out from them. Come out of them. It does not say mingle with them. If you find out that a man is not going where you are going to, you don't need to remain there. What you have to do, you don't need to follow, start, continue following him. What you have to do is to go your way. Find your way. Run away. Run for your life. Because salvation is personal. Okay? Flee. But must you, must you fight that person? The answer is no. So, my, where I'm blaming Aroma in this, their relationship went wrong is this. Aroma, you are free to leave. But you're not free to do what? To fight that hand that fed you. In anything, child of God, never you fight the hand that fed you. Never. Never. Okay, you have the right to go to your altar and condemn miracle money. You have the right to go to your altar to condemn anything. But you don't have the right to go to your altar to tell somebody that this person is immoral. It's an immorality. You must not invite him. He, he, that is what you told a man, a man of God, in secret. So he should remain in that secret. He must not carry it outside and turn it to topic. And, now, and you say this thing, when this saga, when these plenty ladies came out and said that Suleiman slept with them. So now, it's just like a confirmation of what they say. What they're saying. So, you don't bite the hand that fed you, my, my brother. You don't do that. Now, this drama now begins to drag, drag, drag. We don't need it. We don't need it. If he find out that he's, he's living in immorality, it's okay. What you have to do as a gentleman of God, 
as a gentleman of God that has benefited from him, is to be on your nail and we pray for him. He is to pray for him, pray for his repentance. He don't fight him because he has once benefited from his resources, because he has once benefited from his advice, because he has once benefited from anything that he has. He has once benefited from that his, his anointing. You believe so much that he was a gentleman of God, but he started mingle with false prophets according to you. He started, he started mingle and doing things that is not worthy of repentance. Okay? So, you believe once that he was a gentleman of God, now, he's supposed to know that since he was a genuine man of God, he's supposed to know that the Bible says we should, do, we should restore that such person in love. Restore that your brother that has fallen. It not say you should destroy him, you should kill him, you should see him as evil, you should cast him away. No, sir. The Bible says you should do what? You should restore him in love. Where is the place of love in this thing you are doing now? I have to be frank with you. I have nothing against Aroma. He's my brother. I have nothing against him. I have nothing against any of them. But this is my, my just truth. Okay? Where is the place of love now in that your statement? Where is your place of love? Now you guys are not dragging uh, miracle money. Uh, a man that was found in uh, national misconduct. Yes, he was found in national misconduct. Although I have never seen you call about NJ, gentleman of God. But uh, this one, uh, Joel. As once see him sees him as a gentleman of God. So why this glass boost now? My problem self is another group now. Joel is now my another problem that I have. Because we are trying to put an end to this. But Joel will keep Aroma has plenty uh, sons. So. He has sons that he brought in ministry. But Joel will keep dragging this thing by responding to people, fighting for Aroma. He don't fight for Aroma, sir. Your, your duty is to advise him to put an end to this. It's not healthy. I saw a video where Joel says, Joel, my brother says, uh, that uh, Pastor Prophet Passion Jeva is not just a fake man of God, but a criminal. No, sir. You don't do that. The thing sound, it doesn't sound well to me. So you don't do that because, because Passion Jeva mock aromas deformation as in fiscal look. Which is bad. That one is another group of human beings. And this person Java is actually fighting for Uber Angel. Can you see how you guys are dragging this thing now? The sons of Uber Angel in the Lord are fighting Aroma. Aroma's sons in the Lord are fighting Uber Angel. Where is the place of Christ here now? If you post anything about them on, on Facebook, come and see. People of Aroma will drag. People of this and drag. Why are we like this? Be mocking each other, be fighting each other. Is it not high time for us to put an end to this? It's not time for us to put an end to this, brother. Aroma, please, I have said this times with that number. To put an end to this lies in your hands. It lies on your hand. How will you do that? How could you do that? By inviting a, a Michael, your son. Your former son, although he's no longer your son, he's no longer well, this, this. But this guy has been begging for your forgiveness. You refuse. Is that how God treats you? No, I know his offense. He left. He is that mingle with these people and uh, this group. They are now fighting you. They are this and that. Aroma, stop all this. Help me to share this video. Stop, my brother. Stop. It's not healthy. Stop. The people of uh, Mike is, is yeah, they are seeing you as 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 uh, as their their grandfather uh, be their enemy. You guys are just creating heavy enmity among brethren instead of you to, to plant good and plant forgiveness and plant righteousness in their life. And you claim that you are preaching righteousness. There is no righteousness without forgiveness. There is no righteousness without repentance. There is no righteousness without focus. You go to your pulpit, all your sermon is salvation. From salvation, you divert how this one and that one. I don't just get it. There's no way you guys will preach sound message without bringing your matter. Even if you even preach anything without adding this drama, now people will still tag it. Even members will tag it that you are doing this. This is refer, you are referring to these people. If you talk about false prophet in your church, which is biblical, they will carry it. Bloggers will help you guys and join the video together and say that you are talking to Obat Angel. Please, if Obat Angel is fake, leave him and he's fake. The only thing you have to do is to be praying for him. You have to talk about fake and stop mentioning people's name. Although I love you now, you're no longer calling anybody's name. You can go to your altar 
preach about uh, beware of false prophet. Oh, but Angel used to do that as well. I have posted a lot of his videos where he talk about false prophet. He, of course, he can do that. It's in the Bible. Do, so the man, the same thing. It's in the Bible. But you must not be eh, this and that. No, sir. Leave them alone. Leave them. I'm telling you, sir. You can't fight them. How many years you have been fighting these people for years? How far? How market? How market? What is your result? To show you that they can't fight them. They are richer than you. They are. They, they have been in the jungle for years. You're just a kid in the, in the jungle now. You're just a kid in the jungle. So what you have to do is to be focused. Be focused. I don't want to compare you with Mike. But be focused. Just be focused. Find a place how to make peace with Mike. If you can draw Mike now, make peace with Mike. This nonsense will stop. Because this battle is all about Mike. It's all about Mike. And the same Mike is begging you for forgiveness. You refuse. Now what do you want him to do? What do you want him to do? If he cannot forgive your fellow human being that is pleading for forgiveness, how do, why do, how do you want God to forgive your own sin? If you have never sinned against God and Roma, don't forgive Mike. But if you have ever sinned against God and ask God for mercy, just forgive Mike. Let me just put it like that. If you can bring Mike closer to you and for, son, I have forgiven you. Whatever be the case, I have let go. Mike complain bitterly and a lot of things. He reveal a lot of things. I look into your ministry and how you bring up your sons. I find out that you are too, you are too protected. I know you protect your son, of course, in the Lord, of course. But your your principle is too much. Discipline, you are disciplinary. The thing is too much. So all these things brought this saga now. Mike living this and that. They carry gossip and come and give you. Uh, Mike is doing this and that. All these things. This is my rebuke now. It's not all about Mike. I'm just telling you to you guys should stop this gospel on social media. It's not healthy. The people you think that you are bringing up as a as a children of God, as a this and that, you are not bringing anybody up. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, my brother. You say you are training these people, your own people. You want them to live life of righteousness. There is no life of righteousness. You are planting the life of your members. Rather, you are planting bitterness and anger in their lives with this gospel. You are planting unforgiveness in their life. This is my simple truth. If you cannot forgive your brother, your son, your man, a guy, uh, just think, think, think. This guy, this Mike, have I ever benefited from him? Of course um, uh, you have. If you have never benefited from Mike, let me remind you your, benef your benefit. He worked for you. He suffered for you. He was a faithful servant according to you. We saw the video where you were referring him as a faithful servant. How come the same faithful servant now is now, is now a, a worse servant? He is now fighting. How can you allow these people to be fighting? How can you be fighting your these people now with because of your son? Meanwhile, the same son is begging you for forgiveness. You refuse. No, sir. Please give peace a chance. We are tired of this. Give peace a chance. Give peace a chance. And instead of joy to, to tell you the truth and be bare and, and be pleading that you should forgive a, a Mike, whatever he did, the joy is there now, dragging dragging this group. Eh? My father in the Lord say, my father in the Lord did not say, these people are, they are evil. These people they are fake. This is my third time of laying this complaint and pleading that you should give peace a chance and put an end to this. This is my third time of saying it. And I'll keep saying it. I will not stop. Until you look into my pleading, until you, Aroma, my brother, look into my, my, my message or look into whatever I'm saying, please, sir, put an end to this. Put an end to this. It's not healthy. It's not healthy for your, even your members. It's not healthy for them. It's not. You're not planting Christianity in their life by doing so. Rather, you are planting enmity. You are planting, you are teaching the heart not to forgive. Okay? Please, sir. So, whatever be, you see me now. I told you guys before. This uh, so the man of a thing. I'm not here to support anybody. As I told you, this is my message not because eh, eh, they are paid how to start uh, supporting the man. No, sir. I don't do that. He said, according to you, the man was, was a genuine man of God. And people like us know when he was, he was doing genuine work of God. So we know how the thing happened. We know what happened. We know how the thing happened. 
there was a prophetess. I told you guy in this story. I don't want to add it here because this video is, is a little long. There was a prophetess that time, talking about 10 to 15 years ago. 10, 12, 15 years ago or thereabout. A prophetess. But because she don't have money, they refuse to hearken to that prophecy. And now the thing happened. I know that is why I can't fight him. You see me? I can't fight Suleiman, Apostle Joseph Suleiman. I can, if you do anything that is not good, as I'm rebuking Aroma now, I can come out and say, sir, this one is not good. This one is not right. But for me to say, I'm fighting a Suleiman. No, I can fight him. Because I, a, genu, a man that was genuine. Now, once, once a genuine man of God, you're not supposed to fight the person. You have to know that something left your kingdom. You're supposed to pity and cry. And your duty is to be praying for such person. That this man was not like this. Something entered him. Why God please restore him back? That is my duty. Because I know I know when he was he was pure. Okay? I know when this thing this thing start, started. So it's well. That is my responsibility. I even when people came out and be uh, doing talking all sorts of things about him against him, uh, that uh, when uh, some people were kidding doing uh, this assassination of a thing. I had serious issue with people. They dragged me that time because I said no. I understand. I blame him in the part that he used. He used private. Um, he used. He did not abide the same thing with these people with his workers. I blame him that part. But the part that come and be saying mocking at him and say yes, it's good. Those people he used them for sacrifice. I told them no. You don't do that. Okay. So I can rebuke Suleiman if you do anything bad. If you say anything, I say, sir, this is my own opinion. This thing is not good. This thing is wrong. But for me to come and condemn Suleiman so much or be fighting him, I can't do it. Because I know when he was he was doing pure and genuine work of God. Likewise, you are Roman. Since you know when he was genuine, he was doing confirmed genuine work of God, you even confesses with your mouth that uh, thank God it was fake. Because thank God is swearing to uh, your somebody you call fake, which is what this man they tag now Kotik Prophet T B Joshua, and the true man is genuine. Since you believe that he was genuine that time, now why can't you take it as a responsibility to bring him out in love by prayer with your prayer? Why can't you do so? Why can't you do so, sir? That is what Bible says we should do. Bible would not say you should condemn that your brother that was found in the morality. Bible would not say you should condemn that your brother that is no longer doing the work of God. Bible would not say you should condemn that your brother that has certain mingle with people they're not supposed to mingle with. So I believe what you are doing, Aroma. I respect you. I like what you are doing, which is what I believe your I'm in support of your belief, which was follow me as I follow Christ. Stop following me if I stop following Christ. But I say no to. Do, uh, stop following me and fight me. Okay? Bible not say, stop following me as I stop following Christ. That is not what Apostle Paul means there. And fight me. It means, stop following me as I stop following Christ. Convert me. Be far and pray for me that I may come, I will return back. So let's end it here. Thank you guys for listening. Please don't join them to fight this battle. Don't join this group. I'm of this group. I'm of not this group. What you have to do as a Christian is to be praying for them that they may come back together. Pray for that false prophet that he may repent. So thank you guys for listening. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't allow Pastor John Anna CK to chase me out of YouTube because of low subscription. Subscribe to my channel. Support your sister. See you next time. Bye.